Thank you very much. Um, you can tell I'm not Majid. Uh, that was actually Majid and Jan on the last frame of that video. And uh, I should say that he sends his regrets. Uh, he got stuck in Europe, which is not the toughest shift in the world, but uh, he was trying to get here and missed a connection in London, England, and therefore um, I'm stepping in to be Majid today uh, to take you through what I hope will be an enlightening presentation about what we believe and you heard some of our, our customers talk about it, is the reality now. So it's not that this is coming, it's here. And the digital consumer is going to shape the brave new world that we're in. And I wanted to try to talk about why digital, why now, why you need to think about it now, and, and how you might deal with what is happening all around us. So with that, I'm going to uh, jump right in. And I'd like to go through sort of a brief table of contents just to give you a sense of where I'm going here. So I wanted to talk a little bit about who we are for those of you who don't know who we are. And I applaud all of you who showed up this time in the morning for a data presentation. It's amazing. Um, I really, in the body of the presentation, want to give you an opening principle, the opening principle that I'm going to come from in, in this presentation. Then look at some media usage patterns and to try to demonstrate to you what's, what's changing. And we're actually going to go outside of our own data to show you that. Then, as was talked about in the video, show you how we believe technology is changing, changing audiences, changing where they are, and changing how you have to interact with them, both in terms of social media, in terms of online video, the concept of multi-screening, which John talked about, John Patel talked about in the uh, video and others the whole three screen concept. Um, and then in an effort to try to be as helpful as possible, how will you find those audiences? How are you going to deal with it? And what are you going to do as it relates to content to try to, to deal with the, the fact that this is happening all around us? So that's sort of the agenda. So who are we? Uh, we were founded in 99, as you saw in the video. We we're headquartered in Reston, Virginia. We have offices uh, around the world, Chicago, New York, San Francisco. Our Canadian office is in Toronto. We also have an office in Tokyo, London, England. A little over 500 full-time employees now. Uh, one of the fastest glo uh, growing global research for firms out there. And we are now a publicly traded company on the NASDAQ. We have a very experienced uh, senior leadership team that not only leads the company in Jan and Majid, but leads a lot of the sectors and leads uh, each of the individual countries. We've taken people with background. As I said in the introduction, I spent a dozen years at Nielsen. I was involved in bringing the people meter to Canada. I know television audience measurement, and this was, in fact, my dream job, moving into digital audience measurement, because I had a blank canvas on which to do it. And very rarely in life do you get that. We really built this company off an ongoing survey panel of over 2 million people. So we have a, a panel of people we can go to, and now over 1,100 clients accessing those services. We have become, in that time, the largest provider of what we call digital marketing intelligence. And I was saying when uh, at the table this morning that it's not just about measuring digital, it's about measuring online and offline. We just happen to use a digital platform to do that. Because, of course, all the consumers move across channels. It's about integration across those channels. It's not about one channel or the other. Silos are gone. They're history. We measure that through that panel I talked about and really trying to help our clients get insights into consumer behavior in both online and offline worlds. So how do we do that? We report individual country information in now 41 countries. We actually have samples, some of that 2 million, in, in 172 countries to get at global measurement. And, if, and we do that in, in what we believe and we call a 360 degree kind of way. So, we start, if you look at the right-hand side of the chart, uh, at web visiting and viewing. We move into online transactions. One of the, the <laughs> raison d'etre, if you like, for, for uh, Comscore was e-commerce measurement. That's how we really started as a company. Clearly, you have to measure search. It's a big part of what's going on. It's a big part of what consumers do. We all Google. I mean, it's not even a company anymore. It's a verb. Um, media exposure. and big area for us now is understanding the effectiveness of all this digital activity along with offline activity. Streaming video, I'm going to talk a lot about that today because I believe there's a big, huge opportunity in Canada. And then obviously demographics. We have set the path, as was said in, in, uh, in the introduction, and we have a whole series of firsts 
uh, which I won't bore you with, from e-commerce measurement to search measurement, and most recently to what we call unified measurement, so blending server data and panel data to get the best possible digital measurement. One of the ironies of our company is that we are actually recognized for technology as well as audience measurement. So probably the thing that we like the most is that we were asked and awarded the pioneer uh, as a technology pioneer at Davos. We're asked now back every year to speak at the World Economic Forum, and that's something we're pr particularly proud of because of the technology smarts we have. And believe me, in the digital business, if you don't have it, you can't measure it. So enough about that. The opening principle. Technologies are changing audiences. And in fact, audiences will change how we're going to tell stories. Because what's happening is we now have, as we talked about a minute ago, and I mentioned the three screens to deal with. It's gone from a world of passive viewing to active engagement. We now have the reality of program times to personal time and place and location. And I'm going to take that content whenever I want it and whenever it works for me. We have the world of super distribution, the world of fragmentation. And I would submit to you this morning that you can either look at that as half full or a half empty cup. And you better look at it as half full. Experimentation will be key, learning as you go. And I'll come back to this at the end of the presentation. You have to learn as you go. The most forward-thinking companies that I've worked with in this space for the last 10 years are the ones that scraped their knees a little bit. They tried something, they learned, they measured it, and then they went forward from there. And last but not least, the idea of transmedia across all media is where we have to try to put that content to make it as effective as possible. So that's the place from which, whence I came, if you like, in terms of this presentation. So let me go back a second now and talk a little bit about media usage patterns in Canada. And I'm going to start with television information. And the Television Bureau was kind enough to give this to us. Uh, and this is really a five-year trend of television activity, uh, starting on the left with the 55-plus group, then 2-plus, the overall uh, numbers, 25 to 54, then 18 to 34, and you can see the younger group. So clearly, and we all know this, we know this from I knew this when I was in television measurement, that 55 plus drives the average for television, drives it up. But more importantly, what's happening, and I think the thing that we have to understand, and I'll show you more along these lines, is that the 18 to 34s and the 18 to 24s and the 12 to 17s, the usage is starting to dip, oh so slightly on this chart. And I'm going to show you some more information on this regard. But it is changing, and that is where media habits start to get set is in the younger age groups when you're earlier in life. Those are the times when you set your habits of how you're going to absorb content. A couple years back, I was involved in uh, and heavily involved in the IAB, which is the Interactive Advertising uh, Bureau. Spent a couple years as chair. And back then, we commissioned some work by a gentleman by the name of Rob Young, who many of you may know. He's a media guru. He's worked in this, bu in this business in this country for, uh, God knows, 25, 30 years probably. The idea was to go out to the syndicated measurement services outside of Comscore. Comscore was there, but to look at what was happening in terms of behavior, what was happening in terms of how people spent time. So we looked at BBM, we looked at PMB, and we also looked at NADBank. We settled on NADBank because NADBank asked a consistent question about behavior. So on this chart, you have daily time in the top section and weekly time in the bottom section. The key takeaway, the only one that's growing is the internet. And this is looking at adults 18 plus. 